Okay, we're in the admin panel, um, and so here's the cart that we added. Um, you can take a look here. You can see orders. So I'll show you like the most recent orders that come through. I'll give you some filterization here as well. Coupons, if you ever wanted to create a coupon, you can just do that here. Click on add coupon, and you can put the coupon code here, a description. Uh, you can put it in for a discount, car discount, product discount. Um, you can put the coupon amount in here, let's say whatever it may be. And uh, you can check it if it wants if you want to grant free shipping. And you can also check it if it's applied before calculating the cart tax. You can do usage restrictions. Um, you can have it for specific products. You can exclude certain sale items. Um, you can make it individual use only, so there's different ways you can restrict here. You can make just a uh, limit per coupon per user as well, and then you can just hit publish and save that. Here's your reporting. And this will go over um, basically sales, transactions. You can also view your customers here. Uh, you can take a look at your stock, things like that. So um, here's where you are being your settings category. And um, this is where we had changed everything here to US dollar. Um, right here is uh, the way that the products are set up. There's nothing you really have to worry about. Tax here um, is basically. Down right here are standard rates. We have Arizona 9.3, which um, it may depend on if you're in another location. You can also add that in here, inserting in another as well. So this is for um, the checkout options here. It give you the different um, things for payment here. We, we added the API for authorized.net. We had excluded the other ones here because there's we just have the one payment gateway. Um, this is where the shipping module is taking place. This is where you have the flat rate shipping. And we have a $10 per order, which actually that's supposed to be 25. Sorry about that. Okay. And that's uh Pretty much it here. Uh, you want to put your, we have the email in here, this will go directly to you. And um, this is where we go into the products section here. This is where you mainly will be most. So as you can see, we have the different products in here. Um, and we have the ability to edit the existing one here. So we'll go into a product and kind of just go over the different fields. Here's the Obviously the name, this is a description, which didn't really have, we had a limited description. Here's categories, so you could add a new category in here. So let's say if you wanted to change that or whatever, and you can have it go within a parent category too. So we just added test because we weren't sure what category you'd want to have that in. Um, this right here is your product information. So we just have regular price, sale price, because we're not sure what... Um, that will be because we don't have any prices on some of those sheets. You can have a part number put in here too. Inventory if you wanted to keep stock of that. Um, shipping, uh, basically have uh, the no shipping class or whatever will go off of the $25 shipping. Um, this is a link products if you wanted to link products up together. Attributes, I will send another video on the attributes here. So you can go ahead and uh, if you have any products right now, we don't show anything. It was just all uh, point of sale. The attributes would basically be like your options and options values, which I can send you a different video on that. And that's pretty much this. It'd be a short description area. And here's your categories, which you also have the ability to edit within products. So, and that's pretty much it. Go into the attributes here real quick on this video. Um, so, for example, if you wanted to add size, let's say here, 
and this would be uh, tax. Okay. Okay. So I'll go back into products, for example, and let's say I have this headset. Well, then I would go into a, a variable product, because that's what it would change into. And then I would have my attributes here. And so I would add an attribute, and it would be size, for example. And I may put large, small, Oops. Well, there's two different ways you can actually do this attribute. So you could do small, medium, or large. And this attribute will actually give you um, just a drop down without prices changing. So this attribute's a little bit different um, than the variations. So this would just be you don't need anything to have different SKU numbers. You don't need a different picture. Um, prices aren't going to change. This is when you can use this attribute. And you put visible on product page and click add. But this is this is one right here, which you would actually do, which would be a variation product. Okay, so we need to save this. Apologize. So we need to go back and add this. So, oops, I already have it here. So we just need the one. So use this for variations, and then I would save the attributes, okay? So after I save this attribute, this can be used. Instead of putting the values in here, I'm gonna go ahead and use them here. And, and then I'm going to add a variation, and I'm gonna hit size okay and I might say small and this might be I might have a hundred of the small and my regular price may be five dollars for this one I can put an image in here for this custom product too just selecting an image or dropping and dragging so this can have a different different um, image than the one the main product so then after I do that I would basically then hit add variation and then I could do that again for medium so then let's say you had like different styles or something like that then this is where the different images would take place and you may have to have different quantity and you may have different prices so sometimes a product variation would be useful and that's basically how you use it so just make sure when you do go back to attributes you have these check marked you fill in your attribute name here so you have this showing used for variations then go back to variations and then this is where you can manage that within the product and that's pretty much it thank you